Hi, Charlene. What are you doing? Looking for treats? You want your treats? Charlene, there's a bowl of food in there. You came outside and you're going to follow me all day looking for more treats, huh? You can't eat all the treats in one day, dear. What? You think you can? What kind of treat do you want? You like those, that little can that shakes? You can't have treats all day, dear. You can't eat the whole thing in a day. She even had a hot dog yesterday. Did you have a hot dog yesterday? Here, Charlene. It's not a treat. That's my hand. <laughs> Charlene is so funny. She cracks me up. It's still early. <laughs> we go through this with Charlene all the time. She loves treats. So she'll just like follow me around begging for treats. I'll give her treats and she'll beg for more <laughs> all day long. <laughs> She's hilarious. Charlene, what are you looking for? Oh, now you're going to wreck the door. Got to replace those already. This is a tuxedo cat, in case you didn't know what they call a tuxedo cat. Charlene, you've been inside. You came outside again because you knew I was here. She already has food. She has food in her dish. But she wants treats. Well, we will let you back in the house, but you'll just come back out because you don't want in the house, you want treats. Might eat for a few minutes and she'll come out and look for more treats. But maybe she was hungry again. Guess she was hungry again. Well, she'll leave. I guess I'll shut the door. Gotta replace that floor. There's a hole in the floor that came from my Boston Terrier. He uh, had anxiety and would rip up the floor. He passed away. He was 15 years old. He was a sweet little dog. Yep, he was a good boy. That was a long time ago. Well, not that long ago, about five years. I don't like to talk about it because he was my baby. Well, I guess Charlene's in the house. She was looking to get fed again. <laughs> she ate. She started scrounging around for treats. And then I guess she really was hungry. Sweet little kitty. Okay, guys, let, tell me your cat stories. Remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.